Hello and welcome to another edition of Conspirator Brock's Pull List. This is my pull list for the week of November 13th, 2019. Uh, decent week this week, so let's get right into it. Uh, first up, we have Batman and the Outsiders, number seven. Uh, this is another acetate cover from uh, DC. So um, the acetate covers are basically, there's one, and then the new cover. So let's see what's going on. Flip stuff. Fun stuff. Yay. The acetate covers are a little annoying for at least retailers because they don't really sit on the shelf very well. Uh, Batman and the Outsiders has been interesting. Um, it's definitely a different take on... It's not a, necessarily a different take on the on the Outsiders. It's just uh, we're dealing with Raza Ghoul, so there's tons of stuff going on and ton, tons of like, oh, and I'm going to manipulate you this way. So we'll see how it goes for uh, the Outsiders in uh, in Batman in the, this issue and see where it's, where it's going to go with You're the Villain. Uh, next up, we have <clears throat> the Batman's Grave, number two of 12. Uh, this is the Warren Ellis Brian Hitch Batman book. Uh, the first issue was really good. I enjoyed it. So I'm, I'm super excited to keep reading. Uh, but uh, yeah, if you, um, <clears throat> if you don't know that creative team of Ellis and Hitch, uh, they did Authority. Um, you should check that out. It was really, really well done. Uh, but yeah. Next up is uh, Catwoman, number 17. Uh, out of the, all the acetate covers this week, this is probably my favorite, um, mainly because the costume that they have on the inside yeah, uh, is pretty cool. So the, the that's the regular cover, and then they have kind of the old old costume there. It's uh, <clears throat> David Finch is the artist on it. Uh, all, always good to see his stuff, especially when it's not rushed. Uh, his stuff is really, really good. And can't wait to read the count. Next up, we have one from my... <clears throat> daughter and that is a DC superhero girls giant number one uh, these are great little uh, or great f for five bucks you get a hundred pages of content that's got new material old material so yeah if you uh, have a little one you want to give them something this is a good sized amount for a bang for your buck <clears throat> next up we have uh, detective comics number 1015 uh, mr. freeze has has uh, officially uh, brought Nora back, his wife, and uh, she is basically going uh, Breaking Bad, so to speak. So uh, I'm curious to see where Tomasi takes um, the uh, Mr. Freeze family uh, or couple uh, in what they do with, uh, I don't know how you say this. I don't know how to say it, I'm just really tired. Uh, basically, let's see what Mr. Freeze and Miss Freeze uh, do to Batman going forward. Next up is Dr. Mirage, number four, uh, Valiance. I think this is the last issue for the series. I'm not too sure. I can check right now, uh, see if it says the end at it. Um, Valiance basically been doing a bunch of mini series. Um, this one's one more, so most of them tend to go about five issues. So one more issue for Dr. Mirage. Uh, basically, it's, it's a standard Dr. Mirage story. If you don't know the character, she's basically um, like a, she can see ghosts and all that stuff. Her husband's dead, and he's on the other side, and she can see him, and they can talk, and but he, she's trying to get him, get him back to the real. It's just so yeah. So it's the go to the dead side, come back from the dead side kind of deal. So uh, it's okay. It, it's again um, Valiance. It's not necessarily something that's great. Uh, when I, I'm going to finish reading it and then purge. Uh, next up is uh, the big one of the big ones from DC, and that's. Event Leviathan number six of six, and yes, Leviathan will apparently be revealed in this. I haven't taken a peek yet, so I'm not sure who it is, uh, but supposedly we're getting close, and we're going to find out with that issue. So if you've been curious about um, who a Leviathan is, uh, it all will be revealed. Uh, next up, we have um, The Flash number 82, and this one is another acetate cover as well, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, Gideon Falls 18 is out. Uh, Gideon Falls is Jeff Lemire and um, Andrea Sorrentino's image book that's really fantastic, really well done. Uh, just amazing, amazing work. Uh, if you're like if you like horror and all that weird stuff, definitely check it out. Next up is Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy number three of six. Uh, it's an interesting story. Uh, this is basically on the this comes out of Heroes in Crisis. Um, so Harley and uh, Ivy are going to be spending are spending time together because of the, at what happened in Heroes. Uh, so and they're kind of going across the country. So we'll see what happens in uh, following this issue. They have the Floronic Man in there, so it's, it's pretty interesting. So yeah, but uh, uh, it's fun. It's good. Next up is Hawkman, number eighteen. This one is another uh, acetate cover as well. 
Um, Hawkman's been a fairly decent book. I've been enjoying it. Um, it it's again, uh, the first handful of st the first uh, st story arcs were really good. This one um, with the the last one with the Shadow Thief was eh. So I'm curious to see where it goes. Um, but I've enjoyed it so far, so I'm gonna keep going with Hawkman. Next up is Justice League Odyssey number fifteen. Uh, this book is strange in the sense of like I don't necessarily know what's going on. It feels like um, you know Dark Side is gathering his like horsemen of the apocalypse or I I don't know. It's out of the events of No Justice, and so uh, like it's a lot of space stuff going on and a lot of different things in motion. So um, I don't know how they're gonna finish it out, but uh, it's interesting enough, so I keep up with it. Next up is Oblivion Song 21. Uh, Robert Kirkman's done a fantastic job with this. Um, I've really enjoyed the, the concept and the um, presentation. So curious to see where Oblivion Song takes us. Uh, next up is Psy Lords number six. I don't think I can stand this book anymore. It's really not that great. I don't know how long it runs. I, I may just drop it. Yeah. Uh, next up is Superman 17. Um, some of you may go, oh, this is not a villain's cover. Yeah, it's it was labeled as a villain's, you're the villain cover, but it didn't get the acetate treatment. That's next issue, apparently, that's supposed to get it. I don't know. Uh, but Superman 17 is out, uh, so we get to see, um, I don't know what this, this issue is. Um, it's, it's on the heels of, of, uh, John going to the Legion and them finishing up the Super Family crossover, uh, thing. So, um, yeah, curious to see where Superman is with this issue and then the next issue going forward because that's supposed to be, I think, more Event Leviathan tying in. Next up is Tales from the Dark Multiverse and Blackest Night. Um, I really enjoyed these Tales from the Dark Multiverse. They're really, really good, really solid. Um, Nightfall was really great. Uh, the Death of Superman one was fantastic, so I can't wait to see what they have in store for us for the Blackest Night version of Tales from the Dark Multiverse. And finally, on my pull list uh, this week is Wonder Woman number 82. Uh, this one is an acetate cover as well, so be on the lookout for that. Um, I did grab some variant covers this week, um, so let me go ahead and throw them up here for you. One I need to separate out because it's, uh, yeah, there you go. okay. So first up, uh, I'm a sucker for Batman and the Outsiders, so I picked up the variant for Batman and the Outsiders. Uh, luckily, it was only a $3.99 one and not a $4.99 one. Uh, we are not getting any Art Germ Catwomans, but we're getting Catwoman variants, so I liked that one, so I decided to snag that up. Uh, we got a Brian Hitch, um, one for, uh, Event Leviathan I thought was really, really cool, so I snagged that one up for issue six. Uh, Flash 82 had a pretty cool variant as well, so I snagged that one up. Of course, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy, so there's the Harley one, and there's the Poison Ivy one for issue three. And then look, lo and behold, they go together. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so amazing when they line up. Uh, so yeah, so be on the lookout for those at your local shop. Um, Adam Hughes did a pretty cool Superman 17 cover with the Trinity on it. So I decided to snag that one up. And uh, Wonder Woman 82 had a kind of old pinup style uh, Wonder Woman shot there. Um, this next um, variant was supposed to come out weeks and weeks ago. Um, stores were supposed to, uh, stores that had returned the, those Superman and Supergirl issues that they recalled, um, and, you know, did everything they were supposed to, uh, we're going to get this, uh, Boland variant for the Year of the Villain Joker, uh, what track? Um, so here it is right here. Boom. This is the retailer exclusive. Um, basically it's for the retailers that basically did what they were supposed to when DC said destroy. Uh, these issues. So um, yeah, so they go they're They're all kind of all over the place for price. They used to be 50 bucks or they're, they're like 50, They started at high and then like now they're kind of floating everywhere uh, So be on the lookout for those um, but definitely um, a cool cover uh, That I'm glad we got because we follow what DC said at Comics Conspiracy. So yep uh, next up on my uh, next up is the graphic novels, and I picked up the Firefly, The Sting. This is an original graphic novel. I picked up the hardcover of it. Um, I like when they do the uh, original graphic novels for kind of the smaller stories, especially with independent stuff. Um, especially if it's something that you like, like a franchise, I think it's really, really well, like a good way to do it. So we'll see 
I have the other Firefly uh, hardcover, The Unification War, uh, part one I gotta read, and um, part two is supposed to be coming out soon. Uh, I did get some books to read this week. Um, first up is The Dollhouse Family uh, from DC Black Label and Hill House Books. Um, yeah, uh, I really enjoyed that uh, first one with a uh, basket full of heads. Uh, so that was a few weeks, uh, last week or the week before. Really, really great um, first issue. It's bit like probably the best first issue I've read in a while. So I'm curious to see where Joe Hill takes us with this line of books. Sorry. Horror is not my most favorite genre, um, and, but um, definitely if it's a good story, I'm, I'm, I can get behind it. Next up on my read list is Fallen Angels number one. Um, this was most likely going to be a mini series on Amazon. It said book one of six. So my guess is it's not long for the world, um, but who knows? They may extend it out further. Um, but it's, yeah, we'll see what it's like. Out of all of the X-Men titles that have come out um, from the uh, House of X and Powers of Ted, um, we have um, basically this is one of the ones that I like is like this is the bottom bottom of my expectations um, along with Marauders and Excalibur. Um, New Mutants has basically kind of just fallen off for me. So the only two I'm really looking forward to reading are X-Men and X-Force. Um, so we'll see if Fallen Angels even makes it, but I, I highly doubt it. Uh, next up is a uh, new book from DC's Young Animal uh, and author N.K. Uh, Jemison, and that's um, Far Sector number one. Um, it's New Green Lantern, so I'm curious to see what that's all about. Um, it's Young Animal, so we'll see. Uh, but, uh, whew, sorry. I had a long day, and I'll tell you why. Uh, um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing that and seeing if it's interesting. A lot of speculators because, oh, new character and all this stuff. So if it's hard to find a, uh, first issue, that's because of the speculator market. So, uh, be animate. Um, and, uh, if you can't find one and you still want to check it out, uh, hopefully there'll be a second print of it. And finally on my read list is X-Men number two by Jonathan Hickman. So I'm going to continue with reading the X-Men main title, um, for now. So... Yeah, I did get a couple special orders, um, and those are some Toon Tumblers. The first one I got is the a Toon Tumbler with the black mirror uh, image on it from Jacques. So, nice little pint glass there. And then, of course, I got the uh, Batman, uh, the Batman who laughs with his crows or robins uh, all chained up. Um, nice little, they're called Toon Tumblers. They have a ginormously ugly label on the back of it, but hey, it's a nice glass that you can drink out of and it's comic book themed, so I like it. Um, that's it for this week. Um, thank you for watching. Please like sh um, like and uh, the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, part of the reason I am tired this week is uh, Disney Plus dropped yesterday. Uh, also, we had a really decent week for comic books so it was a lot of work at the comic book store and we had a, ep a long episode of uh, the comics conspiracy podcast because we had bryce larson back on in town in in store for everybody's listening and pleasure so uh <clears throat> yeah yesterday just being a real ended up being a really long day i watched mandalorian twice i saw it once during, while i was at work uh bagging and boarding so in that monotonous moment uh, of work, I just threw it on, watched it. it was really cool. Just saw, saw it on my phone. I didn't experience any really. I experienced like one lag time with it when I was watching it on my phone, but other than that, it was fine. It uh, the Disney Plus was working in the afternoon. In the morning, it wasn't really working too well. Uh, but I did get like profiles set up for myself and my kids. Uh, so yeah, so I'm curious to explore um, more of the. DC Plus app and um, what they have in store uh, for us on there. Um, tons of content on there, so be you, I think you'll be surprised at what you can find. But uh, The Mandalorian is definitely a must-watch. Um, I ended up watching it uh, again with my roommate when I got home. I had to download the app onto my PlayStation 4. And yes, the app does work on the PlayStation 4. Kudos to Disney for making sure it works on uh, a PlayStation because... People use that to actually watch stuff. I don't own a Blu-ray player anymore because I have my PlayStation. I stream apps through it or I watch Blu-rays through it. Why? Because I can put headphones on, plug them into my 
controller and not bother anybody in the middle of the night watching um, something like Netflix or now Disney Plus. Uh, so, but I uh, did want watch The Mandalorian for a second time. Really good. They did a solid, solid job on The Mandalorian. I'm super, super excited for episode two and going forward. I think it's a really positive move from uh, on DC, I'm sorry, Disney's part of taking some of these Star Wars stories and actually putting them out in TV format and just, just do it. Give us more of the, um, you know, other stories, not the main story, not that main Star Wars story that you're going to carry through. That's the movie story. Give us all the, the, the stuff around, like stuff that the books touch on, stuff that the comic books touch on, like video games touch on, all of that. Use the TV, like, TV medium for that. And I think they did a fantastic job with The Mandalorian. Uh, definitely, definitely check it out. I don't want to be spoilery here, but uh, it's definitely, um, um, yeah, uh, I, have, I, have, I have spoken on that is all I'm going to say. Uh, so thanks for watching. Um, you can also listen to me on the Comics Conspiracy podcast. We just finished recording episode 427, where we have Bryce Larson on, all the way from uh, the Oregon State, right above us in California. Uh, and it was a long one, but uh, we talked sales charts and answered a bunch of listener questions. Uh, so check it out there. You know, there as, as usual, there's a link in the description below for that. So click on that, and uh, that'll take you over there. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. My handle is at Brock Sager. If you want to support myself or any of the Patreon or, or, and uh, some of my other uh, hosts on the Comics Conspiracy podcast, you can go to Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Comics Conspiracy. For as little as a dollar a month, uh, you help us with hosting fees, getting food sometimes, and yes, getting products. So thank you very much to all of our Patreon backers. It is much, much appreciated. Um, and if you want to help me out a little more directly, any of the Amazon links I have here on my YouTube channel or on my website, conspiratorbrock.com, click on that, buy something through it, and yeah, I get a little cut and it helps out. Thank you to everyone who does that. It, it, it helps. And as usual, I'm always purging and getting rid of stuff, so check out my eBay page, uh, and there's a link in the description below. Uh, that, that basically gets me, you know, helps get me food and gas, and uh, if I sell enough to, at any given time, it's paying off a big debt, or even going into Christmas time, helping me have some extra money to get my kids some Christmas presents. So thank you to everybody who, who is supportive. Uh, it is much, much appreciated. Uh, there's something in the back that I keep my eye keeps going to, um, and I want to talk about it real quick. Um, uh, and that is, uh, uh, Caliban's War. Uh, this is the Expanse book too. Um, I've actually really gotten into the Expanse novels, um, by James S.A. Corey. Uh, I, on whim, picked up the first one, Leviathan Wakes, and, uh, read it. Really, really enjoyed it. Solid, solid stuff. So I got book two. Um, well, money's a little tight, so I've been checking it out from the library. Uh, Sunnyvale Library now, um, so I'm, I have to wait for for book three, but uh, yeah, if you have not yet checked out The Expanse, do so. Um, I'm really, really super, I'm going to be checking out the TV show, uh, whew, man, almost sneezed. Uh, I'm going to be checking out the TV show as soon as I can get back on Amazon Prime, um, which will probably be next year sometime, but I have plenty of shows to watch going forward, so I'm, I'm fine reading the books and then diving in. Um, so yeah, so, uh, that's it. That's a long one. Um, don't really know what else, uh, I got going on for, for this one. So thanks for watching and as usual, I'll see you next week.